All right, as promised, I told you I would do a tour of my house. So here we go. All right, over to the right, we have, of course, the little picks from Dollar Tree. Simple, cheap, you know, if they get ruined from the wind and the rain, I'm okay with it, $1.25. All right, then I have this. I think I got this at Tuesday morning. I'm not really sure where I bought this. But anyways, there's my flag. And then I also am doing St. Patrick's Day as well. So this is from Dollar Tree. I just have the three clovers. And you'll see a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree outside because, I, you know, if it gets ruined, it's okay. You have a pot of gold. You have the little butterflies. And then the little love sign. And then that Easter sign is from Family Dollar. And then that wreath I decided to hang on our door is just from Hobby Lobby when they went 40% off Valentine's Day. And the core mat is um, from Aldi, and the one below it, I think, is still Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it is still Christmas, and that's Ray Dunn. But anyways, this is this is all being thrown out tomorrow, so or by the end of February, because I still need to get stuff for spring and Easter. But let's go in. All right, so let's start with my coffee bar. I bought a frother off Amazon. Love it. Okay, this is of course. Um, from last year, a little gnome, and she's super cute. She's sitting on a hobby. I'm sorry, um, Pioneer Woman. I gave her a little oomph. This is from, I believe I bought it from Hobby Lobby. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. The, this, of course, is from Dollar Tree. Ray Dunn, my little mini canny. Adorable. Kisses, pale pink. It's not coming out as pale pink. With a raised heart. Coffee, Ray Dunn. And then I also have, these two are from Dollar Tree. That one in the back is from um, Target. Target Dollar Spot. I actually just found it today. So that worked out. Then I found my Ray Dunn mugs. Love Bug. Hashtag love. And then I have my Hello Kitty. And then another big Hello Kitty. And then I've been drinking out of this bad boy. She's super cute. Hello Kitty. And then I'm going to be taking down the hot chocolate because kind of when March comes, I don't think of hot chocolate. But I did put this up and it's fresh, baked fresh daily Valentine's Day bakery, hugs, kisses. Not sure where I got it from. The rest, of course, is from Hobby Lobby. All right. And then I just bought, I bought this like a couple of like almost a year ago and I just opened it up. I thought the pink was cute for, of course, um, Valentine's Day. And then when I'm doing my dishes and stuff, I do like to look at cute stuff. So I have this Be Mine sign, which was out last year at Dollar Tree. Then I have Minnie Mouse, and I put in my Hello Kitties. Decided I should use them. I also have the XOXO Gnome from Ray Dunn. And then I also have, you have my heart, XOXO. My mom gave me that. And I know this is Halloween, but it just kind of fits so perfect. So if I put it like that, you won't see it. All right, this is from Dollar Dollar General, I think. And then this is from, I believe it's either 99 or Dollar Tree. And I just use it to sit, put my dish soap on. Then I have my teal truck, which I use at all times. And I bought the pink and white um, gingham. And I have the conversation hearts on my um, counter. And then what I do is this is actually a Christmas canister. And I just flip it around so it looks red for... Um, so it doesn't look red. It is red for <laughs> Valentine's Day. And then I'm not sure what this one is. This might be Easter. But I will use them. Yeah, Cottontail Cutie. This will be turned around for Easter. But for right now, we'll just leave it like that. And then, of course, this is Valentine's Day. And I bought this this year. Ray Dunn. The Mini Canny. Ray Dunn. I had this from last year. This is going to stay out for probably until fall. Queen's Kitchen. And then, of course, we have the Sweetheart, the big candy that I bought this year. All right. And then I decorate my table, my table, my stovetop. And this is all Pioneer Woman. This is from Hobby Lobby. These, of course, these two are from Dollar Tree, Pioneer Woman. 
find your woman dollar tree the caddies from um dollar general i need to get rid of it though it has like rust so that's gonna have to be like donated or chucked not sure yet and then pioneer woman and i have a bunch of cute towels and i just put those there for space taker uppers really and i just put that on my little shelf just a little baked with love and basically all dollar tree stuff that of course is pioneer woman and then I have my cutesy putsy um, little, whatchamacallit, towels here, and they're adorable. I just busted these out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put these away because my husband will come and wipe his hands on them, and we don't want that. So we're going to put that there. Um, I'm going to enter, I, I use this for Christmas and stuff, and this is a really nice bowl. I think I got it at the 99 cent store, but I'm going to switch it out for my teal one once we go, as soon as, you know. I start decorating for Easter, which will be probably this weekend. And then I bought, I have these. I think I got this at Target. I'm not sure where I bought these. This is Dollar General, but that all goes together. And then I decided to put these two hearts up there. I like how they look on my cabinets. So I just did it like I do it with Dollar Tree ones. Or I'll do it with cute ones like that. So I put those there and that's the kitchen. Not a big kitchen. All right, so I finished the tablescape, and what I did is I put my cute little strawberry shortcake, and then I used the Easter trees. I'm using those for as part of my Valentine's Day decor. And then we have Mickey and Minnie, and I think I got this at Dollar General. That's Hobby Lobby, and then all of this is Hobby Lobby. This is actually my Easter canister. I just turned it around, and I put a Be Mine. It looks fine. It matches with the Kiss Me Conversation heart. That Johanna Parker, of course, is... Um, Easter, but you know what? It kind of just flows, and I decided to leave it. And then this is Hobby Lobby, the cute little um, gumball machines, faux ones. And then again, I'm using my cute Hello Kitty, and I put her in the Ray Dunn XOXO. And then I also am using my gingerbread um, trees from Christmas. They will also be staying out for Easter. I'm going to work it. And um, I love my gingerbread little house. I think it's super cute. And then I bought this from Target. And then this little um, tinsel is Valentine's tinsel from Dollar Tree. And then I finally did my bouquet. And that's in the XOXO vase with, um, from Ray Dunn. And then I have my girl gnome from Rossi, Rossi Bossy. And then we have Happy Valentine's Day. Hold on, y'all. I have to show you my beautiful flowers from my husband, but that's not all I, I got. But I'm doing a whole vlog, so I don't want to give it away. But I will show this in the... It looks good. Those are beautiful flowers. So he surprised me with those yesterday. But I do have my other present that I need to open, and I'll be doing a vlog, like I said. All right. So I also used this from Hobby Lobby. That's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Um, I believe the 99 or Dollar General. Dollar General. This is These were those little lip glosses that I didn't like because I can't scoop them out because of my nails. Oops. Um, from Dollar Tree. That XOXO. I know I have more. I, I'm, I am missing Valentine's Day decor. Let's just, I'm not going to even get into it because I'll get in a bad mood. That, I think, is from Hobby Lobby. This is is from Hobby Lobby, you mocha me happy. And then again, I'm using the Easter trees because it works. So, oh, all of these are from Dollar Tree. And then this is from, I wanna say Hobby Lobby. That was, these are from um, Target Dollar Spot. That's mine. And I just thought it looked cute and it fills up space. And there's a little camper back there. Oh, and then I also used this from Dollar Tree. Just to fill up space. So, and then I also put some lights on the table. So let's take a look. Kind of looks eerie with the red. <laughs> but, eh, it's okay. It'll work. It'll work. All right. And here's my little foyer table. And I did decorate it kind of... I. I intertwined um, Valentine's Day and what you call it and um, St. Patrick's Day. So you can see I love the runner on the foyer tables. Matter of fact, I need to get an Easter runner for this. I forgot where I got this, but it is stinking cute and I like it. All right, this is 
a cheapy weepy. I think I got it at Walmart. It holds our keys and stuff. And then this is just my, I always keep a little, this little one tear tray from Target and it has the heart on it, but some, but I can, I'm able to hide the heart with like, um, a bow when I want to change over seasons. This little truck is from Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, and then Target Dollar Spot and then the gnomes and stuff are from Dollar Tree. My St. Patty's gnomes are from Dollar Tree and those backsplashes, when I'm talking about backsplashes and using these things as backdrops, these are great. Instead of looking at, you know, boring plain wall, that kind of just is filler. So I like it. It works for me. It may not work for everyone. Totally understand. And then there is my tree. And then I used that as a topper, the hat. And it looks cute. It's fun. And I was going to get a scarf to hide the wires, but I was just, I ran out of time. I don't have time. I was just, because I've been busy. All right. And then I used, I forgot where I got this. Love is holding hands. And then made, oh, that's from Ross. Made fresh. Cupid's Sweets and Treats. Then let me turn on the lights. I don't think I put lights down there. Hold on. This is pretty busy. And um, those are my spring flowers from at home. That is from Dollar Tree. The girl gnomes are from Dollar Tree. And I intermixed, like I said, I intermixed, um, you know, Valentine's and Dollar Tree. And then, of course, I'm loving that. That takes up space. It's a cute filler. And then I also have another um, white gumball machine from Hobby Lobby. And then I used the cute little bead hearts just as kind of backdrop decor. And then I also used the faux books as risers. So that worked out for me. And I'll back up and let you guys see. And I just have to kind of be careful in this area because this area is used all day every day this is like fancy's room so yeah all right turning over here i didn't these are my bins this is easter so i'm so sorry i just did not have time to do everything we got i i honestly i really like the gnomes from dollar tree because they take up space like they're good space fillers so we have the girl gnome that owl little glasses from dollar tree hobby lobby dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree um that's like from home goods <clears throat> dollar tree Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. So I just kind of, you know, it's just a separation, a small separation from the dining room. And as I said, I have a very small home. So then let me back up a little bit. Don't move, Fancy. You're fine. Okay. Um, I bought that. I forget where I bought that. And yes, that thing is still up. Oh, don't worry, you guys. We're making headway in the closet. Actually, the closet looks really good. We just need to make room for that. Anyways, all right, so there's my wreath. Where did I get that at? Oh, Wally Mart. That is from like Joann's. And then that right there, that St. Patrick's Day, is from Ross. And that whole welcome sign right there is from uh, Hobby Lobby. So there is my foyer. And there is Miss Fancy, who, Fancy, say hi, Mama. Yeah, hi. All right, this was this little area was hard for me to do, and I don't know why. So I just did something really funky. Um, I have like all these cute little cookbooks, and since they say like love and like it just kind of looks like you know like cute, cutey, putey, I decided to put them just like in a row, going from biggest to smallest. And then you can see I use like the little. I don't know if like are these Dollar Tree gnomes? I think they are. Yeah, I got a bunch of them, and I'm glad I did because they really have served their purpose. And I just this is from Target Dollar Spot, and I just made it very, very simple. So I didn't want a whole lot going on, and then we have Kisses from Ray Dunn up there. And then I just used the, I don't like this. This, like, I don't know, we need to patch this. This is like bugs me, but anyways, it is cute other than that nail right there. I gotta get rid of that. And then that's also Ray Dunn up there. So that is what that looks like. And then also I have to be really careful with this area because this is where Fancy runs back and forth like a big nut. All right, over here I kept it simple. I know, you're probably saying simple. Yeah, it is simple for me. <laughs> all right, that is all Dollar Tree backsplash. I love those big mason jars. Next year when they come out, I'm going to get a whole bunch because those really served me well. And again, it's all Dollar Tree right there. Um, I did not want any glass 
right there for some reason. So I just kept it very simple for me. And then coming down, um, let me move Fancy's bed. All right. I used my wagon and I put for the wheels, the little hearts, and then you can see all the little gnomes right there. And then I used the scarf inside from Dollar Tree. And then we have the boy gnomes. And then I used the carpet from Dollar Tree right there. And I think it looks cute. And then I also just put a couple throws and a pillow that says love right there. And then over here, I wanted to add some yellow. So I did with my planter from Lee. And then a little Hello Kitty. I thought that little stand is cute, very Valentine's-y looking. And then I used one of those beaded hearts from Dollar Tree. So let me step back. And I have to be careful because, like, Fancy's bed is right there. So she's a big girl. And when she goes sliding into her bed, she's going to crash in into all that. So that's another reason why, like, I just have to be careful where I put stuff. And then I kept it super simple up there because I can't find my stuff. But next year, I'm going to go wild at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to buy a ton of stuff as far as wall decor goes because I don't know where mine went. So there you go. All right. This is also very simple. And we have our little um, cute mouse. I think she's a mouse. And she is um, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wait, hold on. All right. He lights up. And then I also have the girl fox, and she is cute as a button in her little dress. And then I decided to put my um, Hello Kitty Valentine's Day greeter in the middle. And I just put some little, like, tabletop decor signs right there. And then we have a Ray Dunn gnome. And then that's what I did for that little area. Now we did not go big on the wall because we can't, I can't find my wall decor. So it just looks very simple. I moved the thankful and blessed over and I kind of just used some spring pictures, a little bit of St. Patrick's Day. It's very, very, it is very, very calm for me, but the Easter wall is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> um, Easter is a lot like Christmas. Valentine's Day is a little bit more subtle. And yes, this is subtle for me. I know. All right. Over here, I just put some cute pillows. Those pillows are from the 99 cent store. That macaroon girl is from Home Goods, And then those are the pillow covers that I bought off of Amazon. I'm not thrilled with this area, but like I said, um, I was not able to find everything and I didn't really want to buy more, but I am going to buy more wall decor because I need nice Valentine's Day wall decor. So I'll do that next year at hobby lobby and my husband asked that i keep his area simple because i go so overboard during christmas so i did keep it simple um this is another little wreath from target and i just put it in there and then i put the lights out here and then we have some candy bowl some candy jars from of course um do the dollar spot no dollar tree sorry and like I said, he wanted it simple, so I kept it simple. And then he gets the cheapy weepy runner because look, taco sauce, nacho sauce, whatever kind of sauces that go flying out. So yeah, like this is going to be, you know, thrown out or no, actually I'll use it to, um, cushion breakables. So I use this stuff, I guess, cushioning. So that's why I like, you know, I think I got this at the 99. So then hold on. I like the reverse to be something. So I just did the two gnomes from Dollar Tree and just put love right there. And again, very, very simple. You know, he asked me for simple. And after I overloaded him on Christmas, I was like, all right, we'll do simple for um, your area, simple for, for Valentine's. All right. And here is the bar. So let's get started on the bar. I did not go too crazy on the bar. Um, I bought this when my husband and I got married. It's a precious moments keepsake and yeah. And then that floral arrangement is from at home. That is Ray Dunn. And then I found this actually today and I just, honestly, I just did not feel like overpacking it. So I just kept it really simple and I pulled out a lot of my Hello Kitty stuff. I love the birds from Target. I was so lucky to find them. I, I should have bought more. I only bought three. Um, this is Queen of Hearts. I got this last year. It's a candle. And then I really didn't know what to do with this. So I just kind of, maybe I should just put it right there right now. I really, 
So I put it right there and then um, I found these. <laughs> so I decided to use these as risers and I have a little bird. I have my little mug. I put the little gnome there and then I got these at Ross, but they're Michaels. And then if you move this over, you can see that there's a little gumball machine from Hobby Lobby with conversation hearts. So did that. And then these vases are from Dollar Tree and I've just put a mod podge of stuff. I put ornaments, I put conversation hearts just so that it would make the designs pop and it worked. Um, the Be Mine gnome of course is Ray Dunn. And then backing up you'll see my tr tree and it's all decorated it's kind of hard to decorate a pink tree when you do Valentine's Day with pink tea. I could have done black hearts, but I didn't, I didn't want to do that. These picks are really cute. I'm not sure where I got these picks, but I want to get more. And then we have the pale pink riser. And again, the cute vintage bird. And I just did a different gnome. And I kept the chocolate little mugs. And then again, we have the Hobby Lobby um gumball machines and what I do is I actually switch the tops like white and red to make it pop more and I really like these tulips these tulips will stay out for Easter as well and I'll just put picks in them and make them fuller and then these trees of course are from Dollar Tree this of course is from Dollar Tree those gnomes are from Dollar Tree and again I like it because it may take up space it kind of gives me more of a divider between the kitchen and the den her, I bought at Home Goods, and then I stuck her little friend in there. Again, I went into my Hello Kitty collection and started using stuff. <laughs> and then I decided to put my girl cabbage patch there because she's adorable, number one. And number two, she's wearing red. And if I move her, these I bought at Dollar Tree, and it says candy hearts. And I didn't really want to buy any more candy, so I just stuck with, like, the cinnamon candies from Dollar Tree. And, yeah. And then I did this floral arrangement this morning. Let me sit her back up there. And, oh, these two are sitting out because they're wearing red, so I thought they were cute. And, yeah, that is my bar area. Again, I've told you guys this before, I have a very small condo. I just buy a lot of decor. I did not go super crazy for um, Valentine's, but Easter, we're setting it off. We are setting it off. All right, we're going to go, and I'm going to show you the Valentine's Day tree right now. All right, so there is my Valentine's Day tree, and let me turn on the light a little bit so you guys can see. There it is. Oop, there it is. All right, XOXO. It's a lot, you guys. I went, I really, really went all out on my tree, but I like it. I look at it every night. It makes me happy. The Easter tree will be super cute, too. That is all my Hello Kitty and Cabbage Patch Kids right there. Coming down here, I kept the same sequin skirt, and I might keep it for Easter because it's pink and it works. We have my cute Cabbage Patch Kid, which I adore right there. We have a Hello Kitty. She looks very Valentini, Valentine's y. And then I put the little purse right there. And then we have another Cabbage Patch Kid right there. She'll, they'll, they'll probably stay out for Easter because they can be out for Easter too. But. A lot of this stuff is straight from the dollar spot. Like this was last year from Dollar Tree. And I like how it said XOXO. This I think was Dollar Tree. This was 99 cent store. This was actually Christmas, but I kept it. I also stuck flowers in. And beads were from, I think, Hobby Lobby. The lollipops I bought, I think, from either Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And the whole tree is decorated. So... That is what I look at. So I'm going to turn off the light so you guys can see what I see as I lay on my bed. In fact, I'll lay on my bed right now. I'm tired. And yeah, I enjoy this little view of mine. It gives me peace. And I can't wait to transition it into um, Easter. So, yep. Well, thank you for um, joining me for our home tour of Valentine's Day 2023. I don't have a big home. I don't have a fancy home. I don't have, well, I do have fancy. And that's my baby girl. But mama got to get ready. Mama got a date with daddy. We are going out to dinner and I will start.
the vlog. So what I'm going to do is the home tour is going to be one video and then the vlog, which includes snippets of our vacation. I'll continue in today's vlog with us going to dinner, outfit of the night, and all that fun stuff. But I got to get the videos loaded up for you all and I got to get this one pieced together as well. I hope you all enjoyed this. And again, we all decorate differently. So let's please, please be nice. And um, just remember that I am a real person. <laughs> So if you wouldn't want to read what you wrote to me, please don't write it. Just let's just be nice. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm proud of my home. You know, we, it's a mortgage. My husband, you know, works hard and, um, yeah, I also can't wait till we move. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Cause when Crystal gets her house, it's going to be on fire, you guys. I already told my... I mean, it, it, it's already a given that I'm going to have a vlogging room. I'm going to have a room for the Cabbage Patch Kids, you know, and the Hello Kitty. And that will be our room to hang out in, do hauls in, vlog. I'm going to have a whole room to myself for all of that. And then we'll have a big house that we'll have to decorate and we'll have fun. And we'll go shopping and we'll do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that, that'll be fun. And I look forward to that day. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm very grateful to have the home that my husband um, has provided and so forth. All right, you guys, I am off. I need, I'm not going to have any rest. I'm going <laughs> to, I came home, finished cleaning up the house really quick and then um, started shooting this. And then I got to get in the shower because we have reservations at 645 and like it's for something. So Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it.